Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be updating you guys with all of the different services that I currently use as a real estate agent. This has been a very popular question that I have been getting a lot frequently from agents all over the place, whether they're watching me on YouTube or even on social media. So let's get right to it. So the very first program that I use and I have been using ever since I got into real estate has been Mojo. When it comes to Mojo, I only use the three line dialer. Now when it comes to the data and what I use to call out, currently I am using the data from Vulcan 7. So Vulcan 7 provides me with for sale by owner data, for rent by owner data, as well as the expired data. I currently do not have the neighborhood uh, geo lead type of feature. So that is exactly what I use. Now what I do is that I have Vulcan 7 synced up to Mojo. Now you might be wondering why don't you just use the data that Mojo provides. Uh, the reason that I don't use it is because I've always had Vulcan 7 and I've never had the need to actually get the data from Mojo. So I've never had it, I've never bought it, so I can't tell you whether or not I like it or if it's accurate or not. I personally and highly recommend the three line dialer. That is exactly the only thing that I use from Mojo. Now when it comes to Vulcan 7, I can tell you from experience that the phone numbers are very accurate. I have used services in the past that the phone numbers were 80 to 90% wrong all the time and it would give me fax machines and that is obviously a service that was kind of a waste of money. Other services that I have used and I would recommend are Espresso Agent as well as Land Voice. There's other services like I mentioned but it gave me wrong numbers and the data wasn't really as accurate. So I know that Vulcan 7 is a pricier one out of all of the ones that I just mentioned. And again, if you are watching this and if you are a newer agent, it's really going to come down to you as to what your budget is and exactly what you're comfortable spending money on. So those are the services that I currently use. Again, Vulcan 7 is for the expired and for sale by owner data. Mojo is strictly for the three line dialer. Now another service that I do have is Cole Realty Resource. Now with Cole Realty Resource, it provides me specifically only data on neighborhoods and different cities, counties, zip codes, whatever it is. Now, I absolutely love Cold Realty Resource because of all of the different features that it gives me and how I'm able to break down and narrow down on the type of lead that I'm looking for. So, in fact, today I just did a webinar with Cold Realty Resource and we were actually talking about the different ways that I personally incorporate their system into my prospecting time. So here are some examples. Like I mentioned, Cold Realty Resource is specifically for neighborhood data. So let's say that you have a home that you just listed. What you could do is that you can go on there, you can put the zip code and you can pull the phone numbers of all of the homeowners or all of the people that live in that zip code. And now now you will have the phone numbers, most of them might be cell phone numbers, landlines, and also emails. And what you can do is that you can gather that data and that you can start promoting your listing to all these people. Along with that, Cold Realty Resource also has a feature where you can narrow down a zip code and all of the people that live in that zip code based on whether or not they are an actual homeowner or if they are a renter. So let's say that you are thinking about doing like a first time buyer home seminar. What you can do is that you can narrow down so that Cold Realty can only pull the phone numbers of people that are not homeowners. Another way that I have been using it recently, especially because inventory is so low, is that I have been looking for the absentee owner data. So what I do is that I will put a city or a zip code and I will make sure to select the features that say absentee owner or non-owner occupied. Uh, the reason that I want to do this is because I want to start calling these neighborhoods to find out if there are any homeowners that are currently renting out a property where the tenants have left or perhaps these homeowners are thinking about cashing out and holding on to their money or doing a 1031 exchange. Another one that I do actually want to mention before I forget is that I also have PropStream. 
Now when it comes to PropStream, that platform is mostly known to be used amongst real estate investors and agents. Now this specific platform, think of it kind of like a search engine. You can go on there, you can type in a property uh, or a zip code, you can pull up properties that are currently vacant, that are non-owner occupied, that are currently um, about to get foreclosed on that are notice of defaults that have a bankruptcy or a liens i mean this specific platform PropStream will give you the information and data for properties that fit these other categories. So let's say you want to start sending out mailers or if you do want to just pull up the phone numbers of notice of defaults, you can go ahead and do that with this program. Now another feature that PropStream does have is that let's say you are able to pull up the data for uh, the notice of defaults that are in your specific neighborhood or whatever neighborhood that you select, it will for a very small fee, uh, provide you also with phone numbers and emails and things like that. So again, that is an additional feature, uh, but just in general, you do have access to, to kind of like a search engine platform where it even also gives you estimates for how much um, the property can rent out for. It gives you comparables. So it's kind of like an on-the-go thing. Again, like I said, uh, most investors are known to use this platform just because it's very convenient with all of the data that it provides. So yeah, so now that really is it for the programs that I use. Just to wrap it up, once again, I use Mojo, the three-line dialer. I use the data from Vulcan 7 for the expires and for sale by owners. I use Cold Realty Resource for the neighborhood data. And I use PropStream kind of to pull up information like pre-foreclosures, notice of defaults, um, divorces, and things like that. Now, if you're still wondering, well, what's the difference between the neighborhood data from Vulcan 7 and Cold Realty Resource? I personally have never used the neighborhood data from from Vulcan 7 or any other service out there, but I can tell you that the data that Cold Realty offers and all of the features, which is so many different features, I mean, I don't think that there is another program out there that can get very specific to give you the type of information and phone numbers for the type of people that you wanna contact. So just to even give you another example, I mean, you can really narrow down the type of contacts you wanna pull from Cold Realty Resource. You can narrow it down to whether or not they own a dog what kind of car they drive their political preferences i mean it gets very very specific so that's it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with somebody else and if you have any questions on any of the services that i just mentioned leave them in the comment section below i will also be putting links to these programs in the description box some of these are affiliate links that will give you additional discounts or will waive the initial um, startup fee so you definitely want to check it out and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video